everybody, Rick Needham handicapping the races on Sunday, November the 30th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Just for your information, folks, uh, Churchill Downs closed yesterday for the winter, and uh, my Major Track Report now will concentrate only on New York and Southern California. We will add uh, Southern Florida when Gulfstream Park opens next year. Let's go to Aqueduct first, race 5, 2.54 p.m. Eastern Post Time for this seven furlong sprint on the dirt track, three year rolls and up, racing for a starter allowance purse of $42,000. Then there's number three, Wild Geese, number four, Unwritten, number one, A Casual, and number seven, Missile Motor. Number three, Wild Geese, takes a slight class drop this afternoon, has produced power runs in each of the last five starts, hitting the board in three, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number four, Unwritten, a five to one shot, comes off a power run win in his last start, has hit the board in four of his last five starts overall. Race five summary, number three, Wild Geese, tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, Unwritten, number one, A Casual, and number seven, Missile Motor, three, four, one, seven, in the fifth for Aqueduct. Out to Southern California's Hollywood Park, uh, race two, 101 p.m. Pacific post time. It's a six roll long sprint on the turf, three year olds and up race for an allowance purse of $52,000. Contenders number one, Picasso's Game Boy, Number two, premium quality. Number six, high investment. And number three, Ginobili. Number uh, one, Picasso's Game Boy, is both the speed and pace profile leader in this allowance field. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five. Jockey Rafael Bejarano and trainer Doug O'Neill send him post for today. They've hit the board with 57% of more than 150 entry saddles the team to date. Number two, premium quality, a four to one shot, has also hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, including a power run win in his second race back. Race two, summary, number one, Picasso's Game Boy tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, premium quality, number six, high investment, and number three, Ginobili. One, two, six, three in the second today from Hollywood Park. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to a couple of West Virginia tracks racing on Sunday. Charlestown, race four, the five to one shot. Number seven, Bugsy Park. It's better speed, sprinting at today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt than the favorite. Number four, Soft Day. Also in West Virginia at Mountaineer Park today, race nine, the eight to one shot. Number 10, My Sweetheart's Gone. Drops in class as the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. So from uh, Aqueduct and Hollywood Park on a Sunday afternoon, as we close out racing weeks in both New York City and Southern California, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.